Good morning, boys and girls. It's Monday. Why do I look so faded? I hope that's not the way it is. Oh well, I'm kind of faded here in the bottom corner. But anyway, it's Monday and I'm trying to get back into the routine of showing my, um, not top 10, but 10 sales, 10 random sales from this past week to show you a variety of items that you can sell on Amazon and eBay. Been a very slow week for me on Amazon. I have a pile, actually I have three piles of stuff. I need to get out to them, but um, I'm going to show you three sales from Amazon and eight sales, I guess, from eBay. And I guess we'll start with this one. Books. Books always sell. I look for textbooks. I look for nonfiction books. I know some people sell nonfiction. I just don't want to mess with them. Um, any type of books, self-help books, religious books, stuff like that. This was an insurance handbook. I found the swap meet. I paid a buck for it, I believe. And I actually sold mine used very good for 45 bucks. We can click here on the used and see what other people were doing. I don't know, I click prime. So there's a lot of people here selling very good merchant fulfilled for $27 plus shipping. And that just shows you some people just look for Prime because they paid $45 for my book. And I was probably the lowest Prime, $45. I probably could have got a lot more. But uh, I'm happy. A buck to 45 bucks. I'm happy. And then I sold this um, used VHS Rewinder. And I sold it for 35 bucks. Looks like they're starting at 24 Let's check the other use. So there's a, there's either a prime there for 30 bucks that may have just come in, or I know they picked mine for 35 bucks. I must have got the buy box somehow. And uh, it was new, or it wasn't new, it was uh, used in the box. I had the box with it. I just sold another one on eBay for only 20 bucks. Now I went, went, could have went to FBA, probably could have got a little bit more, but it sold very quick on eBay, and I was happy for the fast money. Money, money, money. Here's one I found it at the garage sale for 50 cents. I also, I actually found two and paid a buck for the pair. They're two different ones. And they both sold the same day. This one sold for more. I sold this mine for 40 bucks. And it looks like someone here is selling it Merchant Fulfilled for 40 bucks with free shipping. So I sold both of mine. They were new sealed. I paid 50 cents a piece for them. And uh, I was happy. What I'm not happy is I passed up on one at uh, Goodwill. They were, they were a little bit more, they're like two bucks. I should have bought it. I was kind of holding out because mine hadn't sold yet, but uh, it sold. So that's the Amazon one. So we're going to go over here. eBay remotes. I sold this from remote. This is remote. You could have sold two weekends ago. I picked this up at that huge huge rummage sale here that Catherine from Treasure Hunter went to first and I ended up going back down there in the afternoon and all I picked up was a couple remotes and I picked this up for a buck or two I think and I sold it for dun 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 $35 plus $3 shipping so that was a good flip two bucks for that and it sold pretty much a couple days after I listed it so it sold last week Dun, dun, dun. Next one, I found this at last weekend's. Actually, that same I found it that same day. This I found out the I was at a garage sale when Catherine texted me about the big rummage sale and said there was 500 people in line. I found this little keyboard doohickey um, mixer thing you connect to your computer. Paid two bucks for it and sold it. Already got good feedback about it. For $38.95 plus $5.75 shipping. I think I sent it in a uh, flat rate padded mailer. So happy about that. Actually, I'm happy about all my sales, so I don't know why I say that. And this is another remote I want to show you because don't just pay attention to remotes for CD players, TVs, and stuff. This is a remote for an air conditioning unit. And I almost passed it up, and I paid 50 cents for it at the swamp meet. And it sold within two, two three days um, from listing it 
for my asking price of fifteen ninety five. dollars um, I just threw a number out there and I got it right off the bat. Maybe I could have got more. Eh, I don't know. I don't worry about it. Fifty cents to fifteen ninety five. You know, minus fees. I probably still made fourteen bucks profit there. And then I made three dollars shipping, and it cost me a buck ninety three to ship out. So minus you know my poly made bag and I card piece of cardboard and some bubble wrap, and out it went. I made a good profit off that. Shovel shirt. Next one is a very rare Kuji sweater. Now I bought this one last year, last summer. I want to say probably June or July. I found it for two bucks at a thrift store. And when I got home and further inspected it, I found stains on it. Um, you can see that stain right there. Uh, you can see that stain right there. And there was a couple others that um, I was not, you know, it was stained. Um, so I listed this as, um, in the description, I said, as is, does have a couple stains, some shown in the photos and loose threads, selling as is. And when Ronnie told me he sold his for 200 bucks, then I can probably get, you know, 80 to 100 bucks for mine. I finally listed it and it sold within a week. I had a couple inquiries about it and then it sold within a week. I don't think I've gotten feedback on this yet, so I'm still kind of crossing my fingers, but you know, I took pictures of the stains. I said there's stains. I said as is if you wish to try and clean up. And I still got 80 bucks for this damn thing, plus four bucks shipping. And it fit in, uh, I actually ate the shipping a little bit and I shipped it out in a, I'm trying to think now, did I ship it out in a uh, padded flat rate? I, I think I did because I ran out of my large poly mailers. So I went ahead and ate the shipping a little bit. You know, it was $2 more, less than $2 more for the um, shipping. So, but I still made a huge profit off this in stain. So I'm going to start looking, if I see a Kuji sweater, and I don't care what condition it's in. I'm buying it and I'm selling it for 80 bucks. Ah, uh, you might remember this one from, oh, went up to a new window, you bastard. Um, found this at that Poway Salvation Army a couple weeks ago in a haul video. Paid two bucks for it. It's a night vision goggle. It's a toy. It's not a true military night vision goggle. Things plastic, but it works. I put batteries in it, cleaned up the battery compartment, had a little bit of corrosion, so I cleaned it all up, put the batteries in it, and the freaking thing worked. It was cool. My daughter was playing with it around the house. She wanted me to keep it so she could play with it. Um, I had one guy give me a best offer of uh, 40 bucks, and I accepted it at that time, but he came back and said, oh, I said 40 bucks with free shipping. And I said, I'm sorry, I don't free ship, so I canceled the order. And he wouldn't accept the cancellation, so I had to wait 10 days so the cancellation would go through, and then I could, because he didn't even pay for it. And so um, once the cancellation finally went through automatically, I was able to relist it, and then somebody bought, paid my full price for it. So sometimes it's best to hold out, I guess. And I even put here a missing front lens cap. Um, there's a lens cap that goes in the front uh, viewfinder here, and that was missing. So, yeah, missing front lens cap requires 4AA, not included. So I got shipped out this week. So quite happy with that. That was a good find. Let me just close out that window. Fitbit. I'm still really up to join the workout breathing hustle. Oh, yeah. And then the next one was this little you saw on my last Saturday's haul video. Paid 50 cents for this little thing. And it sold within 24 hours, less than 24 hours, probably about 12 hours. I forgot to clean up a little dust there on the whole thing. But um, I took a best offer of 20 bucks for it. I paid 50 cents. I'm sure I'll take it. Um, most of them were selling in that price range anyway. I just bumped it up because I put my things on sale often and I do take best offers. So they gave me a best offer of 20 bucks and I took it shipping, went to Texas. Um, I shipped a priority for like five, 505 or something like that in my box. So yeah, old realistic Radio Shack stuff sells. I've found a few of those things and they sell quickly. So this is a vintage item. 
And then, oh, second to last is this is a game I found. Where did I find this game? I don't remember where I found this game. But I've, I've sold another one of those before that was kind of a beat up box. And I sold that one on FBI, I think. This one I sold on eBay for my asking price. I put it on sale um, and it sold right away. And this thing was complete and this thing was in great condition. So sometimes it had a little highlighter and you can't see my finger point at it, but it had a little highlight here on the uh, instructions. And I mentioned that in the description. Yeah, but what instructions has like a couple highlighted lines. They didn't really care. So that was a good flip. I think I paid a buck, maybe two bucks tops on that bag game. I didn't even bargain with the person. I remember that. So I don't remember if that was a swap meet or garage sale. But keep an eye out for that game. That's the other Harry Potter games don't do quite as well. I have two Harry Potter trivia games, not the scene it's just a Harry Potter and the Source of Stone Scenics, and I'm sitting on those. One's going to go to FBA, the other one's I'm parting out on eBay. But uh, Diagon Alley sells well. And then last but not least was the Xbox hard drive I found this Saturday. Paid a buck. For, no, I found it yesterday. So it was my mini haul yesterday, mini haul video. Put it up last night. I had one offer for five bucks. I told them no. And I think I told him no because I accidentally put free shipping on it because I, you know, did sell someone or someone else's listing. And so I declined it and went back and put um, the shipping in there. And then I took a best offer of 15 bucks for it uh, this morning. And shipping was a little bit more than 395 but that was okay. Oh, no, no, I, I apologize. I bubble wrapped that and put it in a large poly mailer and shipped it out first class for 311 So made a couple of little pennies on that. So I'm happy a buck to 15 bucks. That's good. So that's the things I sold this past week on eBay and Amazon. Um, just some ideas um, to keep a lookout, but always do your research. Prices fluctuate daily, weekly out there. You know, what's going for $17.95 now may not go for $79.95 when you find one. So be sure you check your completeds and do your research. But these are good things to keep a lookout and things I always keep my eyes out for. You know, the Xbox hard drives, if I can get it for a buck, I know I can get on a minimum 10 bucks for them. But, you know, 15 bucks there. Um, Harry Potter, Diagon game, good. Uh, old electronics. Stained Kooji shirts, remotes, no matter what they're remote to, look for them. You know, the regular remotes, odd electronics, I don't know what the hell they were, but they came up good. I did my research on that. It came up selling good. And books, so those are some items. Um, hope your sales are going well. Hope your week starts off good. And I hope you guys are all staying positive and uh, keep moving forward. Talk to you guys later.